How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in today and for today's video I have this 2018 WRX that is here for a full detail. This car was amazing and this was the most dirtiest WRX I have ever detailed. So guys here it is the full detail. Last week I did post the video of the wheel detail so you can watch that video as well. And guys before I transform this car before I completely make this car almost brand new if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to the channel it takes only a second this way you support my channel and guys make sure your bell icon is turned on and this way you are notified of my future videos that are coming up so guys sit back relax and enjoy the show to start off the detail I am detailing the wheels first that means I am thoroughly washing the wheels they need to be absolutely clean so i'm here using mcguire's iron remover and i'm using pns brake buster to clean these wheels and the tires these are amazing products that i use and guys you can see the iron remover working when the wheels are bleeding purple and these wheels were coated in brake dust and all sorts of grime and the color underneath all that dirt and grime was absolutely beautiful so guys always in your details make sure to clean the wheels first this way all the dirtiest parts of the vehicle are cleaned first Now is the time that I'm rinsing down the paint completely. This way I am removing all the loose dirt or anything that is sticking to the paint and when I'm doing contact wash I reduce all the chances of putting any swirls or scratches onto the paint. As I'm rinsing the car I take this time to wash all the door jams this way when I am rinsing the vehicle nothing is coming out of those door jams when the vehicle is clean so here I use my pressure washer to make sure to go through all the door jams and then I take all-purpose cleaner and a detail brush and I go through all the door jams this way when the customer opens the door the door jams are absolutely clean
So the customer had mentioned to me they had taken a road trip and I could see that on the front end of the vehicle there were a lot of bug guts. So I sprayed down turtle waxes, bug and tar remover and then I sprayed the whole car with some snow foam. I was using this Armorals foam cannon soap and it was the worst soap I have ever used. So I had to switch my foam cannon and I had to go back to my chemical guys max suds that i use one of the best soaps and after i spray that down i take a detail brush and i go around the whole vehicle with all the nooks and crannies or any crevices and doors windows and everything i make sure i run my detail brush through it this way i clean the paint completely To give you a little background about this car the customer called me that they have a WRX and they want a full detail on it and I was really excited because I also have a WRX and this WRX was amazing because apparently the customer has really customized it and it is pushing about 600 horsepower and 490 something to the wheel so this was absolutely a beast of a WRX and I really enjoyed detailing this car and the customer was really happy when the detail was done. So customer requested that I do a complete decon wash on this vehicle because they had taken a road trip and I could see that there was a lot of iron particles on this car so I sprayed down this whole car with iron remover and this way you can see when the car starts turning purple or bleeding purple it's melting all the iron particles embedded onto the paint and this car was turning purple so guys if you use decon I would suggest use Meguiar's iron remover it is one of the best iron removers and then you can do mechanical decontamination that is using a clay bar which also removes any more embedded contaminants on the paint. So after the wash process is complete, I move the car into the garage and start detailing the interior. First thing first, I remove all the personal items from the car and I put them aside and then I start vacuuming the car. And guys, I always start from top to the bottom, that means I start working on the seats first and then I go to the floor. This way I clean the car in a most efficient way. I start from one point and I go around the whole vehicle and guys, this car had some kind of build up onto the carpet in the front driver side and i had told the customer and i think it was mold in the car so i had to do complete shampooing process of this carpets and these carpets turned out amazing and the front carpet i had to shampoo it a few times because that mold had to be removed completely and i did not choose to pull the seats out of this car because 
the customer has a lot of gadgets running in this car and I was not comfortable at all removing the battery because for me to disconnect the seats I have to disconnect the battery so I was not at all comfortable unhooking the battery so I left the seats in there and I tried my best to remove everything as much as possible so guys whenever you detail it is always best to do details in a safe way because this car had this car had a lot of gadgets I was not comfortable removing the battery so I made sure that I remove all the mold as much as possible by not removing the seats.
after all the shampoo process is complete now it's the time that i clean all the plastics in this car i use apc and i use a steamer the steamer is amazing it breaks down all the dirt and the grime that is built up in the center console the cup holders especially in this car the handbrake and the gear knob guys that steamer is amazing so if you want any of the equipment that I'm using on this detail or any of my details all the links to the equipment are listed in the description below so you guys can click on those links and check them out for yourself After all the plastics are clean, now is the time that I apply UV protection to all the plastics. And guys, this product Aerospace 303 UV protection for all the plastic and the vinyl interiors. It gives an amazing look to the car when it's done. It gives a matte finish to all the plastics and the car looks amazing. After the interior is finished, now I apply tire dressing to all the tires and during that time I wipe down the wheels one more time to make sure any residue or any of that dirt or anything is there. I take it off and then I wipe down all the windows, the front windshield and make sure they are spotless and then I apply wax to all the exterior. This way the wax protects the paint and it gives a really nice shine to the paint it brings the gloss out and guys i use Meguiar's ceramic wax which is really nice and it gives that really nice finish to the paint
And guys, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you liked it. So make sure to hit that thumbs up. Make sure to share the video. And if you're new, subscribe to the channel and make sure your post notification is turned on so you don't miss any of my future content. And guys, make sure to watch my videos on the end screen as well. Just like always, guys, thanks for watching and I will definitely see you on the next one.